1 to the infinity power, it doesn't have to approach to e every single time. Okay, here is an example of a limit when we have the form 1 to the infinity power, it doesn't approach to 1. Let's take a look of this. The limit as x goes to 0 plus of 1 plus x inside, and then raised to the 1 over x power. When we plug in 0 plus into here, you see the base is 1. And when we plug in 0 plus into here, we have 1 over 0 plus. And we know 1 over 0 plus, that goes to infinity. So this is 1 for the base raised to the positive infinity's power, right? This right here, we cannot draw any conclusion, all right? Now, let's take a look of how can we solve this. I'll show you guys two ways to do it. So the first way is that I'm just going to do the typical calculus, all right? The Lapidus rule, the derivative and things like that. So here is the work. I will write down the limit as x goes to 0 plus and some people prefer to say this is equal to L and take the natural log on both sides. And I think you have seen me um, do that a lot of times already. And some people also prefer to just write the base as E to a Ln power, right? I will do that for you guys right here. So the deal is that you see the base is 1 plus x. I will change that to E raised to the Ln of 1 plus x, right? Because that is the same as the original. See the base right here, it was 1 plus x. And when I write this as e to the ln of 1 plus x, e and ln cancel, I get that back, right? However, I still have to have the 1 over x power like that. Now, of course, we can just multiply the powers, right? So this is the same as saying the limit as x approaching to 0 plus and e for the base still, and we multiply this and that, so we have just ln of 1 plus x over x, right? 1 over x times that is just that. And now, the deal is, when we have the limit of e to the something, it's the same as e to the limit of that, because e to the something is a continuous function, all right? So I can write this down as the following, e for the base, and we'll focus on taking the limit of this part. So let me write down. The limit as x goes to 0 plus. And here we have ln of 1 plus x over x. And if you plug in 0 plus into here, you get ln 1, which is 0. And then when you plug in 0 plus into here, you get 0. You get a 0 over 0 situation. So we have to do Lapidus rule, right? OK, where is my blue pen? Right here. So, I will just differentiate the top and differentiate the bottom. We can do so because, once again, this is a 0 to the 0 situation. Okay, now, we have E still for the base, like this, and then we are still taking limit. The limit as x goes to 0 plus. On the top, the derivative of ln of 1 plus x, this is just 1 over 1 plus x and the derivative of the inside is 1. So if you do the chain rule, multiply by 1, doesn't matter, right? The derivative of x on the bottom right here is just 1. So this is what we have. And let's see. This is equal to, I still have the e for the base, and now I will plug in 0 into here. Anyway, this is just e raised to the first power, it's 1. This is that special number again, e. Aha, look. This limit, even though it was in the form of 1 to the infinity's power, but we end up to getting e. And you know e is approximately 2.71828. It's 1828, right? So on, so on, so on. And you see now, 1 to the infinity's power, it doesn't have to approach to 1 every single time. It can approach to some other number as well. Okay, as I promised, I will also show you guys another way to do it. So let me do this. If you didn't want to do any derivative for things like that, like this, do the following, because this is a pretty you know, famous limit question as well. Anyway, we are going to do some change of variables, right? Because this power is bothering us. What I'm going to do is, I will say, let t equal to 1 over x, okay? So as you can see, x is going toward 0 plus. When you plug in 0 plus right here, that means t will be approaching to 1 over 0 plus. 
meaning t has to go to positive infinity, okay? And in the meantime, uh, let's just write this down now. Okay, this is equal to the limit x, I will change that to t, I will write everything into the t world, we will have t going toward positive infinity, and then I have the parentheses, I have the 1, I have the plus, the x is what? Well, t is equal to 1 over x, that means x is equal to, I multiply both sides by x, divide both sides by t, so x is equal to 1 over t, so x is equal to 1 over t like this. And then, raise this right here to the 1 over x power, and that's equal to t now. Do you recognize this limit? The limit as t goes to infinity, parentheses 1 plus 1 over t raised to the t's power. This right here is precisely the definition of the number e. Right? This is it. Hopefully, next time you remember and you'll be convinced that 1 to the infinity's power, you can go to a lot of different places. And as a challenge, maybe you guys can help me out as well. Is it possible to have 1 to the infinity's power to approach to 0? Let me know in the comment section. Anyway, that's it.